being an academic, you know, I have one foot in academic, one foot out. I see my role as getting resources for the community groups to make sure that they, they ha have the uh, resources they need to do the work they want to do. But in some cases, academia can really be very extractive. And even though people may be doing good work the way academia is set up, uh, you, we can publish a lot of papers, but those papers may not lead to change. We can go to a lot of conferences, but those conferences are not reducing the disparities in those communities. So really what's important for me is to you know, partner with communities, really have them drive and lead the work and understand that you know they are contextual experts. And that's, there's a reason for that. So when you work in a community where they find out there's lead, mercury, and arsenic in the soil, it's in my body. It shouldn't be in my body. That galvanizes the community. That in many ways, that connects the community back to that, so that spirit, the fighting spirit, once they get the information. So I really, the reason why I'm passionate about this is because when I, we can get, the, get them the data, get them the inf information, you have people kind of come out, it's just a transformation in the community. And because you think about it, when you get educational sort of knowledge, you get you know, new knowledge, you, you increase literacy, right? Then you, you empower them, and then you increase capacity, and then you have more capacity at the organizational level and the community level, then they can really go use information, apply it to impact change. But unless they know about it, you, they can't go through that transformative process. So it's a continuum when you have you know, this educational sort of in, injection. So it's very important for me in my work, you know, I'm collecting all this data, which is great, and we're doing this research, but the most important thing that I do when I work community is the educational part. The educational sort of enrichment really leads to collective action. It leads to people really send themselves in a different way. It, sees, it leads to people being more positive about the situation they find themselves in. It, it, it leads to the community members, you know, being hopeful, you know, being hopeful about the future and being hopeful about change. So I think, you know, regardless of what we do as academics, Regardless of what we do as researchers, if we can empower people through education, I think we've done our job.